Today we're going to look at what happens when I divide and my answer doesn't come out evenly. So what happens when I have a remainder? There are three different ways that we can um, write a remainder. I can write it as a remainder, and that's what we'll do um, in our practice problems in Alex. I can also write it as a decimal, and I can also change my answer to be a fraction. So we're going to do examples of all three of those. Um, but to start with, our division is going, we're going to follow the same four steps that we did um, with dividing yesterday. So whenever we divide, we're always going to group, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Okay, so we're going to start that with, um, we're going to do this problem right here. So I say this problem is 31 divided by 5. So 31 divided by 5, we're going to see what our quotient is. So I'm grouping, does 5 go into 3? It sure does not. So I can put a 0 up there. 5 goes into 31. 5 goes into 31 6 times. So now I'm going to subtract 30. I'm left with 1. So when I don't have a zero down here at the end, so I've, I've used up all of my place values, so I can't put anything over here right now. So when I don't have zero and I have another number, that means I have a remainder. So for right now, we're going to say that I have a remainder of one. I have one left over. Okay, now we're going to see what we can do Instead of saying remainder, what else, what else could I do? So actually, let's just continue doing that on this problem. So let's say instead of having a remainder, I want to know what is that going to look like as a decimal? So as a decimal, I'm going to add a decimal point and add a zero. What do you think I'm going to need to do with this decimal point? You got it. Bring it straight up. Just like Paul Abdul says. Straight up now, baby. Do you really want to love me forever? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's why I teach math and not music. So I brought my decimal point straight up. Now I have a zero I can bring down. So I brought my zero down. Now I'm back to step one of grouping. Five goes into ten. two times. So as a decimal, I could say six and two tenths. So let's try a decimal out here right now. Six, and I'm going to use my four steps. Six goes into six one time, so I'm going to subtract six. Six minus six is zero. Bring down my four. How many times, now I'm grouping again, how many times does 6 go into 4? 6 goes into 4 zero times, so I put my 0 above my 4. 6 times 0 is indeed 0. So now I'm subtracting 4, bring down my 5. How many times does 6 go into 45? 6 times 7 is 42. So this is when I could say I have a remainder of 3. Because I don't, I'm not ending, I've used up all of my digits. And I've, I, I have 3 left over. So again, instead of saying that I have 3 left over, I'm going to make my answer into a decimal. So to do that, I add a decimal point, add a zero. You can even add two zeros if you want to. And now I'm ready to, to start my process over. I drag my decimal point up. Now after subtracting, so I subtracted here and I got three. Now I can bring my zero down. 6 goes into 30 how many times? 6 goes into 30 five times. So instead of saying remainder 3, I can say 107 and 5 tenths. 
Now we're going to do one. Instead of writing it as a decimal, we're going to write our remainder as a fraction. So first we have to divide. How many times does 7 go into 0? I'm, I'm sorry, how many times does 7 go into 1? 0 times. 7 times 0 is 0. So basically I'm just asking myself, if 7 doesn't go into 1, then I say, how many times does 7 go into 14? 7 goes into 14, as we see here. 7 goes into 14 two times. So I'm subtracting 14. That gives me 0. Bring down my 6. How many times does 7 go into 6? 0. So that gives me a remainder of 6. So again, instead of saying remainder 6, because we don't really say that in the real world. So instead of saying remainder 6, my leftover, or my remainder, I'm going to say is a fraction. So when I write it as a fraction, I'm going to have two numbers to write in. I'm going to have a top number and a bottom number. My top number is my remainder. So how many do I have left? I have six left. Six out of how many? Well, remember we were dividing by seven. So it's six out of seven or six sevenths. So again, when I am writing the answer out to my division problem, I can use a remainder. I can add a decimal point and find a decimal, or I can take my remainder and write it as a fraction as seen here. And again, to color code that. Our bottom number, our remainder becomes our top number, and our divisor is our bottom number in that fraction. Okay, now you are going to pause your video, and you are going to do these three problems by yourself, and I'll be back on to share my answers, and hopefully we get all the same answers. See you in a bit. All right, let's check our answers that we got. For 483 divided by 8, should end up with 60 and a remainder of 3. So you can check your work against my work, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we didn't make any mistakes. And if you made a mistake, um, look at my work to see where you went wrong there. Let's look at this one, 483 divided by 5. And I wanted, said I wanted you to write this one out as a decimal. So 5 goes into 48 nine times. That gives me 45. I subtract, I get 3. Bring down my other 3 for 33. 5 goes into 33 six times, which gives me 30. So when I subtract, I have, again, I would have a remainder of 3. But I want you to write it as a decimal. So I add my decimal point, drag it straight up. Then, I, then I'm ready to bring down my 0. So now I'm saying, how many times does 5 go into 30? 5 goes into 30 6 times. So my answer should be 96 and 6 tenths. In our last problem down here, I said I wanted us to write it as a fraction. So 653 divided by 3. Um, I'm going to end up with 217. So I'm going to jump down here to the bottom to where I want us to write it as a fraction. So 3 goes into 23 seven times, which is where my 7 comes from. 3 times 7 is 21. So I would have a remainder of 2. If I was asking you, sorry, I think my remainder of 2 went away. If I was asking, there it is. If I was asking you um, to write a remainder, you'd say R2. But instead, I want you to write this remainder down here, my remainder of 2. I want you to write it as a fraction. So it goes up here on top, and then my bottom number again is my divisor. So how many do I have left over? I have 2 left over out of how many? Out of 3. So I have 2 thirds left over. So these were our notes for um, section 4 of our notes, and we will do some more problems like this tomorrow in class.